Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Jessica. I'm doing a completely different new type of video today and I'm pretty excited about it. Just came back from one of my favorite places, Trader Joe's, and I got a ton of groceries. I really stocked up. We were pretty much bare bones in our cupboards and fridge lately. So I did a big, massive Trader Joe's haul and I'm just going to share with you what I got because of course, got a lot of fall items from Trader Joe's. Like one of my favorite things about Trader Joe's is the seasonal items. It just keeps it fun and boosts my serotonin just a little bit. So I'm going to go through all of these items with you. If you're interested in this video, please go ahead and stay tuned and give it a thumbs up if you're into Trader Joe's hauls and you want to see more of this type of video from me. Let's go right on into the video. I'm truly in the Halloween spirit. We are about one week away from my favorite holiday and I've got my Horrors, Haunts, and Hayride shirt on from Shop Disney and this cute little ghost bow because festive, you know? So let's get into this festive fair from Trader Joe's. Of course, I got the staples as well, but I had to pick up a few little pumpkin items just for fun. So I'm just gonna start here and work my way over. Uh, I have my dry goods over here. I picked up some maple almonds. This is like kind of one of the first folly type items from Trader Joe's that I picked up. These are new, I've never seen these before. The dry roasted maple almonds. Maybe they had them last season, I'm not sure, but my first time getting them, and I love an almond. I love eating nuts for snacks. I don't normally reach for ones that have sugar coated like this. I just reach for the bare bones, almonds, and peanuts, and those are my two favorite. I just wanted a little special treat and a little sweet treat that isn't a cookie or a candy. I have such a sweet tooth, it is a problem. So hopefully I don't eat these all in two or three sittings, but I think I'm gonna try one for you since it is something new. I love maple flavored things. I don't know about you guys, but big fan of maple. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not too sweet, really good. The maple flavor is pretty subtle. It kind of tastes like pancakes. I like it. I love granola. I've kind of been on a kick lately. It's a great after school snack for me. So I picked up two different seasonal granolas. This is the pecan praline granola and the honey crisp apple granola. And I especially love mixing my granolas with diced apples and my yogurt. That's like my favorite snack of sprinkle of cinnamon. So delicious. These are gonna be great for those. I got some more brown rice. We were out of this. This is a staple that I always have in the house. This is the brown jasmine rice. I don't normally pick up this. This is the harvest blend. It's like a mix of couscous, uh, garbanzo beans, red quinoa. This is not something I normally reach for, but I thought it was a fun alternative to just regular rice or pasta on a fall night. So I went ahead and picked that one up. And another fall little fun item here, the pumpkin gnocchi. Love gnocchi, love pumpkin. I mean. How can one go wrong? I can't decide what kind of sauce to do with this though. I could be delicious with the red sauce, it'd be delicious with the cream sauce, it'd be delicious with butter, sage. It's just gonna be delicious. So how would you make this if you bought this? Let me know. This is Danny's bread that he loves, the organic five seed multi bread. My husband is a man of routine, so he has a sandwich every single day for lunch, unless I have leftovers for some reason that he can take with him. He's making himself a sandwich. So we got a few sandwich materials, but we'll get to the rest of those later. Yeah, that's all for like my dry goods. Now let's get to some canned goods here. I had to replenish some staple canned goods items. I got two cans of garbanzo beans. These are the organic ones. I like to get these on a better deal elsewhere, but it's just so convenient to pick them up from Trader Joe's and I'm at a stage in my life where I will pay for the minor conveniences. We gotta take our shortcuts where we can. And then I also have this organic coconut milk, which I always have around. I love making coconut curries, adding this to soups and a pumpkin puree kind of on the same vein. This is gonna be perfect for a stew, a chili. Maybe I'll bake with it. I meant to buy a whole pumpkin, like a sugar pie pumpkin. I love buying those and cooking with them, but this was just kind of easier to have in the cupboard when I want that pumpkin flavor. Real quick, I got this tea. This is their Harvest Blend Herbal Tea. And I always will have tea in my classroom. It's like a fun little decompression element to my day. If I can just like be present with my tea, it just like makes me in that much better of a mood for my students. So this is for my classroom and I think it will give me those nice cozy fall vibes on those chilly days, hopefully, that are coming. Fingers crossed. Like, today is about 65, so I'm in heaven. Yesterday was 90. I know. Back here, I got some jarred items. I was all out of marinara sauce. I always have this on hand. I got three different types because I don't really know what I want anymore. I like to buy the organic one. This is the one I normally buy, but their other one, like just the regular one, is only like $2. So I wanted to give it a taste. I don't ever buy it, and I wanted to see if it's decent for two bucks because I'd like to kind of cut my spending in my grocery department a little bit if I can 
in the future. So if this is a good option, I'm gonna reach for that one again. And then I also got the organic tomato basil marinara because I just don't know if I like, I don't know, all marinara pretty much tastes the same to me. And I always doctor it up myself. I like add a little twinge of vinegar to it or a little bit of salt, oregano. I kind of like doctor up jar sauces all the time. So who knows what they really taste like by themselves. And I also got this autumnal fall harvest soup, or it's the autumnal harvest soup. And I had tried their pumpkin bisque jar, which is delicious. I actually used it in a lasagna. It's from the Trader Joe's List Instagram page. I'll link the recipe because I got a few ingredients for that because it's so good, I'm making it again. Um, but I wanted to try their other fall soup and I thought this might be good on the pumpkin gnocchi. Like if the pumpkin bisque is good in lasagna, why not this fall soup that has a tomato base and pumpkin in it and butternut squash be gone pumpkin gnocchi what do you think about that what do you think i think it would be delicious with some veggies maybe some tofu uh-huh uh-huh all right so move on to the dairy department i got stocked up on my low-fat cottage cheese this is something i'm trying to have on hand it's just like a quick go-to protein rich snack i've always been into cottage cheese though like this whole cottage cheese phenomenon is not the bandwagon that i'm hopping on i have always had cottage cheese in my fridge from childhood till now. It's a staple for me. On that same vein, I got some whole fat plain yogurt. I really love this for a snack and I like to get the non-fat most of the time, but something about that like extra creamy whole fat feeling <laughs> was just very attractive to me while I was shopping. So I picked up that one and I already had a bowl of this with the granola and it was so good. It really does make a difference. Um, and the calorie difference is not that huge. It's like an 80 or 90 calorie difference which is not gonna make or break anything. Oh, I also got this whole milk ricotta. This is for the lasagna that I'm going to make with that pumpkin bisque. And I think that's all for, oh no, I have some more dairy as well. I also have this sliced cheese. This is for Danny's sandwiches. And he buys this every week. This is the sharp cheddar. It's great, but I mean, I know we're getting a rip off with the sliced cheddar, but you know, again, it's for Danny's convenience. When he's getting ready in the morning, it's easier for him to have a slice of cheese. He reach for instead of slicing his own. I got some eggs. These are for me. I always have these in my classroom. These are the fresh, hard cooked peeled eggs. There's six eggs in here. It's about $2.50 or maybe $3. So you're paying a premium for sure. But the convenience of having a hard boiled egg that I can just reach for in between classes. This is basically my breakfast every morning or when I have them. This is my breakfast. I eat two of these and like a piece of fruit in my like 15 minutes between classes and that's my breakfast. I don't have time to make breakfast in the morning. I have to leave my house around like 6.30, 7 a.m. at the latest and it's just easier to have things in my classroom for me to eat when I'm there. Danny also eats eggs every morning. I got two of these. I just already put one in the fridge. This is the organic pasture-raised large brown eggs. They're expensive. Not the most expensive eggs the Trader Joe's sells, but they're like almost $7. I like to shoot myself to some delicious eggs every so often, and these really do have a difference in flavor. You know, these definitely are not nearly as nice of eggs, but again, the convenience, and then when I'm at home and I want to make a little scramble or fried egg, really, that's my thing, fried eggs. These are so delicious, and Danny has eggs every single morning. Does a little scramble of zucchini. And um, these are mostly for him. That's why I got two dozen. Also for Danny, we got some protein here for his sandwiches. He likes ham. Sometimes he buys turkey, but he's been on a ham kick lately. So we got two of those for Danny for the week. I'd never seen these before, and I was excited to try these. These are the chicken meatballs from Trader Joe's. They're cooked, they're seasoned, they're easy peasy. And I love having these just to throw in as like a quick protein option to any pasta. That's most likely what these are gonna go into. I like having convenience on hand for those quick meals. Less convenient, but definitely a healthier option. And my favorite option is tofu. I was trying to eat vegetarian for a long time. I never considered myself a vegetarian, but I liked to cook vegetarian in my own home just because meat's expensive and we all could try to eat less meat. It wouldn't be that hard. So I had to stock up on my tofu supply. I have a tofu technique that I use to get my tofu in the best texture. This is the organic tofu and their extra firm tofu. So I got two of the regular and one of the extra firm. And what I do with this tofu is I put them all in the freezer and I let them freeze up overnight. And then in the morning I take them out. And when the tofu freezes, the water in the tofu expands and like makes the holes and the air pockets in the tofu larger. So you get like that more like meaty texture through the tofu. And then after you um, freeze it, you thaw it and it like kind of shrinks back down and then you freeze it again. So again, those holes 
just expand even more, more of them expand. You get more of that airy, meaty texture in the tofu. You take it out, thaw it again, and then you have to squeeze the hell out of it. You um, cut it open, dump the water off, and get it in your hands. And once it's been frozen and refrozen, it kind of changes the texture, makes it a little more strong. And you really can squeeze it out with your hands like a sponge. Like, just wring out all that water. And then I like to press it in between a like kitchen towel with like something heavy on top just to get that excess water out anything residual that might be in there dried out a little bit more and then I slice it up and bake it that's my favorite way to do it I used to fry it but there was just like so much oil I much prefer baking it now I mean frying it sometimes for like a special treat but yes that is my tofu secret you freeze it you unfreeze it freeze it again unfreeze it again squeeze dry bake you're welcome so yes always gotta have tofu on hand I know it sounds like a process but like once you're in the routine you know, it's just what you do. You just prep your tofu. And I always kind of have like a rotation of like some that are in the freezer, some that are in my fridge. Like once I've done that process, I just have it sit in my fridge so it's ready for me to go. Got some fats here, of course. You gotta have your healthy fats. I have my Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter, my favorite butter, the only butter that I buy. And then we got some extra virgin olive oil. I really only use olive oil for roasting things as well as for salad dressing. So this olive oil will last me quite a bit, sometimes a month or more just for this like smaller bottle. A few more dairy items here. I got this shredded mozzarella cheese again kind of a shortcut for the lasagna that I'm making tonight and also some parmesan cheese this I do not like to take shortcuts on because I really think that grated parmesan most of it is crap so I like to grate my own this is also for the lasagna and then I also got feta cheese this is like my favorite cheese to have on hand to add to salads and pastas most of the time the cheese that I have to cook with is either parmesan feta and like maybe blue cheese once in a blue moon like that's like a very special occasion and maybe goat cheese like those are like my favorites I love cheese. This is for Danny. We mix this ginger beer with our sparkling water from our soda stream. And that is our like nightly, we call it our ginger drink. And sometimes we'll put like a little squeeze of lemon in that. And it is just so pleasant with all of our meals and refreshing. And him and I will pretty much share a can or do like a third of a can. So it's just so much better than drinking like a whole can of soda. And um, we don't like really drink at home. So this is like our little mocktail for the evenings and we really love it. Okay, we're getting close. I'm talking about my veggies now. So this is for Danny's veggie scramble every morning, his zucchini scramble. So we got two of those. That'll last him for a week or two. And I'll grab from there too if I need it for a dinner. I'll reach for one of his zucchinis. Most of the time he's okay with it. He's very protective of his zucchinis. Danny was an only child, so sometimes it's hard for him to um, to share. <laughs> We're working on that. We got our broccoli from Trader Joe's. I hate how all of Trader Joe's produce is covered in plastic. It makes me not want to shop there sometimes, but I just love it still. I wish Trader Joe's, can you work on that? Got some celery. This is something I always have in my crisper for soup. So pretty much anything that I'm making in my Dutch oven, it's having celery inside of it. I got these organic baby carrots. These also live in my refrigerator at work. So these with those hard boiled eggs, some apples, some fruit. I'm pretty much set there. Got two green bell peppers and then we always get their tri-colored by peppers. These are also a staple in my fridge at all times. For the lasagna, I got some sage gonna fry this and place it on top of the lasagna with like a little bit of salt sprinkle on it oh my gosh so delicious and then I also got some white mushrooms I like having these as like a little special produce I don't always get mushrooms but when I do I love adding them to meals they really do add such a nice extra element to you know really simple dishes got a couple kind of like body care health care type things this is a supplement i like to take turmeric it helps with inflammation i'm very into taking supplements i'm very religious and devoted to it and turmeric is kind of a newer one that i've been trying but i think that it just you know it can't hurt to add a very beneficial herb to my body every single day and i have like kind of a weird blood level where i really have to take care of myself so that everything stays good i'm, I'm good i'm healthy but i'm really just trying to make as many good choices for my body as I can and hopefully you know just stay as healthy as I can for as long as I can that's the plan I also got this pumpkin body scrub and I'm excited to try this this is a total impulse purchase I have their pumpkin body butter that I really need to use during this time of year so I thought this would be fun to pair with it and my skin is feeling just like you know it's just a little dry in the winter especially it's going to be feeling a little dry and it just feels so nice to exfoliate and then lather your body with lotion so I'm going to really try and do that a couple times this season and I think this will be a very pleasurable way of delivering that to my skin and as soon as I say all that of course I got some sugar 
treats as well. I couldn't leave Trader Joe's without picking up our favorite seasonal cookie. We fell in love with these last year and this year we're just so excited that they're back and we bought I think like five or six boxes but most of them are in our freezer. We have like a back stock you know for when they go away we just want to have them so we can enjoy them. We have like one cookie a night maybe. I actually skipped my cookie last night. Okay these are the pumpkin spice Jojo's. They have a pumpkin spice Jojo cookie in there and then they're coated with a yogurt coating and sprinkled with sea salt so it's got that sweet and the salty together oh my gosh they are so yummy and I picked up another box just to you know add to the collection and extend our enjoyment of these cookies a little bit longer because I'm sure they'll be disappearing very soon and making way for all like the peppermint Jojo's and Christmas type seasonal items and I probably shouldn't have gotten this but it just sounded so yummy and again I'm really like maple and I really like salted things this is the salted maple ice cream and I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna kinda let it sit in my freezer for a while because I'm gonna be out of town. I'm gonna be eating lots of treats down in Disneyland for Disneyland Halloween. And this will just be nice to have in my fridge for when I want that sweet fall treat. It'll be there, a little something special. Maybe when I have friends over, I'll share with them. That's a good idea. When friends are over, we will eat this. Even though they're lactose intolerant, <laughs> they can take on some of these calories so I don't eat all of them. So that is all for my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you liked it. It's kind of fun going through my groceries with all of you. All of this together cost about $200. It was like $202. Definitely a more expensive grocery trip for Danny and I. I mean, let's be real, groceries are so expensive these days. Things just keep getting more and more expensive. But Danny and I are actually pretty good on groceries this month. This is gonna get us through the rest of the month as well as probably into early November. Like a lot of these are pantry staples and we'll just have to replenish with some more fresh veggies. I think we're even gonna be pretty good on protein for a while. So that is great. And we were so bare bones, we really needed to stock up. So I knew it was gonna be an expensive trip for us, but you know, not too bad, 200 bucks could have been worse. Thank you so much for watching this video day. I had so much fun filming it with all of you. I love talking about Trader Joe's. I love talking about groceries. I love talking about cooking. If you're interested in more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you're doing really well wherever you are in the world, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Until then, bye.